For over 150 years, the people that think the Earth is flat have said that there is no 24-hour circling sun in Antarctica. The reason why they say this is because it's completely impossible with the idea that the Earth is flat. It's definitely accepted by flat earthers that there is a 24-hour circling sun in the north. They just say that it doesn't happen in the south, and part of that is because it's difficult to get there. So what better way to test their actual claims than to go to Antarctica at the peak of summer, at, at uh, the right time of year when the sun should be doing circles over your head 24 hours a day according to the globe and in complete contradiction to flat earth. That is a fantastic way to settle the question. So several months ago, Will Duffy launched the final experiment where he's going to go to Antarctica with some normal people and bring along at least one, and now it's been updated to two or three or potentially four different flat earthers to see what happens. And um, initially people had asked me if I wanted to go and I said, well, I had a conflict. And I even said I had a schedule conflict. And <clears throat> The conflict I had is I did not want to say I'm going and then have any flat earthers say they didn't want to go. Um, I didn't. I wanted to be out of it and not uh, affect any of their opinions on whether or not they would go. Well, the for over three months now, Will has been offered uh, offering both Jaron from Jaronism and Austin Witsit to to go to pay for both of their trips, all expenses paid. And it's been over three months. Austin has drug his feet quite a bit just to have Will on uh, his channel to talk about it. That took quite a while. Since then, they've been doing some uh, talking about the, the contract. The contract sat there unresponded to for days from uh, Austin. And uh, more recently, Austin has had some issues with it. Anyway, um, Will said, all right, we need to do a deadline. He set a deadline for yesterday. <clears throat> and since the deadline was yesterday and it has passed, uh, and also because there are several other um, flat earthers that look like they are likely to go. Some people have had uh, offers of trips to get paid for. There's an offer for any flat earther to go provided they can show that they've been a flat earther for a long time and i know that there's near 20 or more maybe by now applications for that so certainly one of them will go so there's no question in my mind now that a flat earther will go so i'm happy to announce that i am planning to go to antarctica december 14 to 18 2024. uh it is a rather expensive trip the trip just the trip to go to Antarctica once you're in Argentina is three thousand or thirty-one thousand five hundred dollars. About uh, you need to get to Argentina and back. You have to pay for lodging while you're there, before and after, food, transportation within town. Um, you need to buy a whole bunch of gear. It's cold there. You don't ever get out of the cold. You're in the cold the entire time you're there. Uh, you sleep in tents. The tents are just they're, they're still cold. Anyway. There's many expenses, so I'm uh, I can't afford it myself. Will is not offering to pay for me to go. Uh, it's up to me to to pay for it myself. So I've decided to crowdfund. Um, there are some other people that are also crowdfunding, specifically Critical Think and Globe and McGlobe Face are are crowdfunding as well. So I'm, I don't want to take away from what they're doing. Uh, as it looks right now, it looks very likely that Critical Think will go, and I think Globy is is maybe questionable. So. Definitely don't take away from them, but I, I'll be going. So uh, if you are interested and want to support me, I have a crowdfund up on GoFundMe. Um, GoFundMe has a pretty decent pay structure. They run things through credit cards. They have credit card processing fees. It's it's a bit less than 3%. Um, if you want to support in a way that has lower fees, you can uh, pay through PayPal. That's paypal.me slash mctune27. Uh, so those are the two ways to go. The The amount that I put down, so it's 31500 through ALE and then a whole bunch more of other unknown expenses. So I put a, a cap of 40000 on it. I don't think it'll be quite that much. I hope it's not quite that much. So uh, if I do raise more, I don't know. 
I don't know. It, will I raise more? If I do raise more, um, I, I will, um, uh, I plan to, to start a, I've planned for a while and I haven't done it yet. So I plan to, to start a, um, scholarship fund, uh, because I, I help pay for, I helped, he's graduated now, uh, a guy in Rwanda to do, um, to get a computer science degree. Uh, Ozi Ntwali is his name and he's graduated. He's currently looking for a job. If you're in Europe and want to hire somebody from Rwanda to, to write software, get on my discord server. Uh, I'll contact, I'll get in contact, uh, get you in contact with him there. Anyway, uh, that's what I'll do with any overage that, uh, that happens. So, uh, anyway, either through PayPal, uh, dot paypal.me slash mc227 or GoFundMe. I'll put a link in the YouTube description for that. So, uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I really hope it can happen. I am working on my passport. It has expired, but I have appointments already set up to, to renew it. So people, I, I, I uh, look forward to your responses and, uh, I hope I can, uh, make it happen and put it together. And I uh, will thank you a whole bunch if that does.